And welcome back, it's Kotel for now map 2 for this Southern Aggression. I've got now two uh, guest commentators, one, uh, same as the last map, we have Mr. Uh, Brutish from the Ninth Corps. Hello. And we also have Mr. Gene from Hampton's Legion. What's up? Uh, wow. Oh, you, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know. You got some, you got some, you know, got some, uh. Well, you know, you, you don't have, CSA rep. You, you have the you have the the host of the of the show, Koto, and then you always have the 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 heartthrob of the show, me, and then you have the one that everybody hates, which is you. Right. Ah, is that how that works? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it works. This, this is why I have no views on YouTube. I understand. Um, no, <laughs> but um, so just quick, uh, Gene, if you want to just quickly introduce Hampton's Legion yourself, you know who you are, yeah, sure, what man. you do. Um, I am. Gene or uh, John. I know Kotal likes to call me both, which is fine. I really don't. I mean, I don't mind uh, either one. But uh, I'm uh, I'm a captain in HL. We're uh, kind of regular infantry, artillery, you know, kind of deal. And uh, yeah, that's a, that's about it. I mean, what can you say? It's like most regiments in this game. We do a little bit of both, and uh, it's nice. Uh, do do y'all have an EU side? We do. We we do have both a strong EU and an A side. Shout, shout out the EU boys, because I'm, I'm not familiar with them. Yeah, I, I mean, I've seen Ninth Course uh, EU side. Like, uh, like <laughs> yeah, that's Tony F. Massachusetts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's pretty. The cool. Irish. Yeah. No, but, uh, yeah, not much to say about me. Uh, CSA is getting hyper aggressive off the rip, and I love to see it. I was gonna say this is a uh, early move here. Um, it oh, looks man, like the man. CSA is rushing forward here, which is the complete, it, which is gonna throw off the Union plan. It's gonna totally uh, throw them off. Yeah. <laughs> the Union has gotten across the uh, board pretty quickly here. Artie's gonna have to pull back there. Those, oh, poor, no, those poor Artie guys are probably so excited to play Artillery. Oh, and that was oh, Snapperkins, yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, and oh, some guys. Ninth Corps. This was HL and Ninth Corps on this Artie, man. Yeah, Look what they're doing to your boys. I know. So oh, no, Snap. Only one person survived at that whole Artie crew. Well, I mean, honestly, this might play into Union's favor. They kind of want to attack this right side. And if, you know, the entire CSA gets up or yeah. like this. Really quickly. Oh, this was a very aggressive uh, start here. I like it. I you don't you normally don't see CSA try to hold the forward like this, and I, I and I think you know this is a smart move, especially with no steam jet. I, I, I made mean, up nothing push. else, something new. So you know, we'll see how it works. If it fails, it fails. Who cares? You know. And Union has to go. They they literally have nowhere to go right now. And they're it's going. Definitely a very. Uh, they, come, come, they can only do this for a couple of minutes, it's fire, but fire, it's right. definitely gonna throw them off. Which... But, well, you uh, gotta remember you know, too. U Union has uh, cavalry on this map, so that's true. Yeah, HL has to cavalry spot. For this form one. up, form up to the right of the side. Oh, I, I, I like how Hood is positioned himself in the road here. Yeah. Well, he's gonna do a famous 42nd PA volley there. There's some close. You gotta pick up their flags. Looks like those CSA elements that were over on that side have been wiped. Uh, unfortunately, there's nothing now to restrain the C the Union from getting into that backfield. And I think I think this is exactly what they're going to do. They're going to take that backfield with their flags and just fight from there. They're really just aiming to get those rocks. So, so, some, so something new. What do, you, what do you guys think about this initial move by the CSA? Do you think it was worth it? or? I, I the tickets? Uh, maybe. Maybe. You know, it, it's not a huge margin, right? It's not like it was a, a quarter, even. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, you know, CSA is not down that bad, but honestly, I think the position, I, I think it would, would have been a good idea if if the Union plan wasn't to immediately full send right. If the Union plan yeah. wasn't to immediately full send right, it's a good plan. Which is kind of unfortunate that they kind of committed that far. Yeah. 
Well, and honestly, if you put if those guys on the left side of 42nd Top and whoever else is on this down. left the you got list. across the road and met them on the snake rail or on the straight rail, you know, probably union, a different outcome. The union might lose a flag here, though, in this. Flag. Yep. Yeah, they, yep, they just did. And so let's see who we. It looks like we have Cadet Alex and Major Dixon leading the HL. Right. Um, what, so, can, what can you tell us about those guys? Wait, hey, who's leading? Is it is, is it Dixon or is it Alex? So every uh, young officer night on Friday, right for, for uh, HL. So Dixon would be his second in command. And Alex is getting aggressive, pushing out these rocks and wiping out this small CSA oh, yeah. unit, which I think is a good idea. Go Alex. Yeah, well, definitely with that cavalry. Using those pistols to very yeah. good effect. And they're gone. He's from my company, so he's one of my boys. You know, making me proud. Uh, whose flag is that? I, I don't understand how Union is so far back on tickets here. I don't understand. Well, I, I, I was going to say a good chunk of that is the Artie, because that was a lot of skirmishing out of lines. Yeah, that's true. And, and they kind of caught, like, stragglers on the back end. And again, got a lot of skirmishing and out of lines. Well, and one thing I do like about CSA being so pushed up here is any Union running from spawn across the forward is at risk of getting killed out of line right now. That is true. Honestly, uh, if the Union can make a joint push to push a EB out of this bush here, they might Connor just be able to lead. secure... Yeah, it looks oh. like 1st VA might try, Connor Connor might try and move right himself. Now. And also Hood is moving up. We have a second. we have a charge going into the bush from first VA, yeah. Hey, behind you! That's brave, very brave. Friendly, friendly. friendly. Probably gonna get swallowed up though. Friendly. Shout um, out to the Union shouting friendly well. in their backs. That's really funny. I mean, good I... job, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> How did Union, dude? They were they were outnumbered by at least ten there. First VA, successful in that maneuver. Honestly. Shout outs to first VA. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, here comes Hood, though. He ain't gonna have none of that. No, wait. Leave me alone. Hood, are we not supposed to Rambo with officer like yeah, that, Hood? Come on, Hood. Come on, Hood. Uh, is this video evidence? I don't know. What are, what are we I'm doing? bringing that up in debrief. I mean, but, you But no, nah, very good, you... very good maneuver there by first VA. But yeah, look at these tickets, though. Is still so far maintaining about that quarter lead. Well, Union has exactly what they want. They want, you know, they have they have control of this right side. They just have to do something with it now. They can't do what Union did last map, which is take ground that they want and then just sit here. They have to do something with this ground, and damn good ground it is. So, Gene, actually, what would you now, if, you know, I'll give you God powers of... Ooh, nice already shot. Uh, what would you advise the Union to do now at this point in the battle? Honestly, just even out the ticket stage a little bit. Um, I would... If we had Steam Chat, I would say let's try and get 42nd PA out of that bush. Um, but I would just stand here and shoot, honestly. It's only going to favor the Union. Uh, See, that's what we said last map. Uh, the right, okay. and then it didn't. <laughs> it didn't. Well, if the CSA decides to get aggressive, then, uh, you know. Honestly, don't know, Hotel. I, I would just stay here for a little bit. Can I see how things develop? Oh, I see I see Tommy getting a little, uh, Tommy's getting a little animated back here on the road. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, he's going to lose his voice. <laughs> I think they're just trying to help the <laughs> artillery. Follow me up, bulletproof! Oh man, look at those out of line tickets. Don't that, do that. that is not. Don't uh, do that. Come on. That is not advisable. I can't. I don't have a weapon. But hilarious, no. nonetheless. No, it, it's it makes great video. Uh, I mean, Union Union has exactly what they want. They have this right side, and now they just got to start pushing up. And honestly, if I'm Union, I I, I want to go try to take the point here, stop the clock, make the CSA come out and fight you in the open field. Oh, uh, yeah. What what do you what do you think, Gene? Same thing. Think uh, try to cap it, stop the clock at this point. As long as the Union have a ticket disadvantage, they should try and cap. Yeah. The only thing I'm thinking is. 
having that CSA unit in the on their left flank is not really in their favor. Um, but Un Union has already now again. Let's so see if they can do some work for them. That's true, but I think it's only like two guns. No, it's it's, it's three now. It, it's four. It's it's four. four. Oh my god! It's in Strat Sketch, we were looking at like barely one gun. Yeah, it's a little bit of HO, a little bit of PB. Uh, I know, nice. I know. Uh, Knife Core has at least one. Yeah, I mean, it's only gonna be, I would say, down to thirty-two minutes. I would start to push up. But I mean, you're getting even on tickets here, and you know, you're thirty-four minutes. CSA is at the bottom of battle ready. Uh, you know, you, you, every fifteen minutes, you want to try to get them down in morale state, the defenders. So at the end of 30 minutes, if they're at the bottom battle ready or at the top of engage, I think you're doing just fine as attackers. Yeah. I like what HL's doing with their uh, loose formation here. With the cav. But so hey. also uh, first VA and uh, 9th LA and PB. Well, you gotta use that cat. You gotta use that cav as, oh, as guerrilla tactics. Sure. You gotta, oh, gotta yeah, get man. in, get out. It's a very like, it's a very wide battlefield when you look at it. There's a lot of small units out here. You can see uh, Fort West Virginia and EB harassing the artillery. We're actually going for it right now. Yeah, what do you guys think of the uh, how the map is currently kind of spread out? It's very different from what we had on the last map, which was a very concentrated one. Well, it's a bigger map, and yeah. it's not just a road, um, so you definitely have to spread out more. But I think as attackers, you just gotta you gotta try and wipe these smaller units in piecemeal with 42nd all the way at the bottom right here by themselves. If you need would just start advancing across the battlefield, they could definitely wipe out. Like who, who are these groups up here? This is NYV. Then you got, who is this at the top? Uh, MWB at the top. And then they're already, I don't know how far you can get as you on this map up here. Uh, like can you get to, can you get to CSA already as you do? No, uh, no. You can get you can close, but the, the picket fence and you can kind of shoot them in the side. Yeah. Yeah. That, that way, that's exactly what I would do. And then, I mean, unions that engage before CSA is, that's never a good sign. I, I think, you know, I think, you know, there's a lot of kills back at this already position that I, I think the CSA is kind of farming right now. Yeah. It's not great when this, I mean, like what I said, the CSA has that entire battlefield under lockdown. There's not a lot of units that can go in and help the arty for the union. And I think these guys who are continuously spawning arty just kind of need to give up the fight. <laughs> yeah, I'd just go uh, infantry NCOs at this point. Watch. There's no point there. in keep, keep doing arty now. Yeah, at some point you got to kind of make that call of can I actually get to my guns or am I just going to be in a constant fight? Yeah, yeah. Look at Snap, though. Doesn't stop him. Uh, he wants it. Oh, yeah. But it's, uh, I don't know. Because you, usually what you see in this battlefield is you know, like CSA is usually not where they are now. They're usually back closer to points. Shooting it out from like the defilade. Oh, no. Jones, oh, okay. Well, usually they're exactly where Union is. This is a very exactly. odd pry forward. That's no. This is a, a bit of a reverse from what I usually see. Yeah. And, and precisely. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, what, what what do you guys think of it so far? I mean, it's, I mean, what's I mean from the Union, not the Union, the CSA perspective. Um, I, I think you're happy. You're at 30 minutes and you're still battle ready. Yeah. You know, the Union has to cross an open field to get to you. And you have control of their arty, and you're just continuously killing all these arty guys that keep spawning arty for out of lines. Yeah, I mean, I, I've been keeping and, an eye on, like, 10th Tennessee is not having a fun time. And and with this huge unit, who is this right here? This is 123rd and WV and EB. With with these three units here watching the forward, any 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 person that comes out of spawn is getting killed out of line. And I, I think that's I what's killing them. why people are not telling their guys to just spawn on flag. Well, it is the it is the tenth. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. It is the tenth second that they got live, right? Or do they switch it back to the five? I'm like uh, 100 sure. Ten, ten second yeah. flags right now. So that might. So I understand why people are spawning flag, especially the first map. But 
if they're doing something like this, you, you can't really. Oh. Squid has ordered a charge from the ninth core. Oh, oh man. Hey. Yeah. Sent them into a gauge, but I think they're about to get wiped out. I mean, he's the rest of the team. Yourself. Get him, Jake. Uh, maybe it was a distraction because now the Union Possibly. are pulling up to point. Yeah. Might be looking to cap here and stop the clock. Oh, yeah. 100%. Percent that. Dude, that you... I would have called what we saw very much like an impasse situation. I also forced the CSA to move from their positions and actually get on the point because they do have to exactly. recap it at some point. And we have another charge going into 40 seconds from Tennessee. Yeah, I see. Looks like that, that sh out. yeah, that should finish it off now. And you're dead. Yeah, 40 second is completely white from this right position, so now they have these bushes, which is actually, I think a lot of where those tickets, those those losses were coming on the right were those shots from 40 second. Yeah, I think that was a big contributing factor in that kind of opens up the field a little bit better for them and now the line of communications are open again where the guys from Maine can just go back in rejoin I mean, the line. I mean not really you still have this group right in front of the floor well, right yeah but they, they can sneak around to the right I really think what's killing union tickets here is is these guys already I think that's what's yeah. killing us actually I'm gonna and kind then, of follow this looks like we got ninth core coming up here I kind of want to follow see how they egress in or do they Take that right turn, or they go forward here. Well, like, with the guy, with the guys, with HL here, you know, if some of these got these uh cavalry guys charge out with them. Oh man. Yeah, I think you just charge in ninth floor. Yep, that's what they're doing. We secure the guns a little bit. Try to open it up. You know what, disregard to 123rd, just keep going. I would keep a small scrim unit close to the artillery. Yeah, I think I think I think it would be worth the investment at this point, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, here, here's something significant. 40, 40 second just lost their flag in front of in front of Union artillery. Chopper's got it. That's true. All right, Chopper, go with Dixon. Chopper, go with Dixon. And like and look, they you know, tickets are a little closer than they were before. It's definitely getting uh, getting for a second uh, back there. Another move coming down the Yeah, road. although the CSA is recapping now, so that'll restart the timer, but... See, if I'm Union here, I just full send point right now. Are they, catching, are they catching up on tickets? Uh, it seemed pretty steady. I think so, I don't know. I could be talking out of my ass. I, don't know. Uh, I mean, yeah, you might might have caught a little bit, but I, I mean, uh, they still have a lead. You know, I'd say, you know, maybe maybe half. Oh yeah, yes. Yeah. MWB yeah. is kind of taking out this corner again. Union's kind of getting strangled a little bit now. Yeah, if I'm Union, I I, I would full sit right in front of me on the point and wipe out. Wipe out 79th and whoever's in front of me. You have such a bigger force in them. There's no reason yeah. just to sit here. No, I, th I think you're absolutely right. This is a prime opportunity for the C for the Union to get some great tickets. And Especially if you let now, them, they're pulling back. Look at 19th of Indiana. They're going. Now yeah, they're gonna let them retreat. Pre retweet. Retreat. Yeah, you, know, you, gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta get that exposure on the social media, man. You know. Retweet. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, well, man. no, it's no longer a, a retweet. It's a, it's a re-x. Is that what it's called? A re-x? Uh, no, it's not. not it's, it's, now, is, is it really? I was, I was yeah, making a dumbass joke. Like that was All right. So now I, I think you were right. They have kind of gotten it closer on tickets here. 42nd PA in the road. It is. Oh man. It'd be really cool if uh, these cannons right here were uh, pointed at this CSA group that's charged and already were filled with canister, but I don't think they are. Uh, that would take some good foresight, but I could, I, I would yeah, absolutely do that. On the they don't have 
Hey, bud. How's Don't it going? Get the flag. So it looks like they left 83rd as that guard that you were talking about earlier. Get him. Yeah. And yeah, they're about to get wiped. Well, this will be close. Well, I mean, it'll be close, but it's it's going to cost the CSA a little bit to take it. It won't be a, uh, you know. It seems like Union's retaking point, too. And they're going to force CSA to come back towards them. So I think I, I, I think Union's playing this exactly how they have to to come back on, on this ticket deficit. Now would be a prime opportunity to go and just charge out MWB. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. I, 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 what, uh, Hood, I love you, Togra, I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah I caught that. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I agree with you. I think I think right now you hit MWB with two units and, and try to wipe them. And you yeah. can easily cut them off from their retreat. Oh, yeah. I think they might do that when they cap point and pull off here. I think if you just stand on point, you're just going to get yeah. massacred by fact, MWB is yeah in a bad position right now. It's going to be too late, though, because... Oh, actually, no. I think the CSA just want to shoot it out from a distance right now. North, no west. I mean, you, Union has pretty much caught up back up on tickets. They have, yeah. Totally. They're still a little bit behind, but it's not, it's not that significant. No, not that much, no. And MW, really, don't even have to charge at MWB. MWB only has four guys oh, got left. shot out, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. But no flag, too, so. Yeah. And that already from the CSA team is putting in some work this round. I need to change my diaper. And EB is still on this straight rail overlooking the, the forward. Is that Mattis on the gun? Oh, yeah. It's, my it's, boy it's Mattis. Mattis, yep. Dude, I love him. I mean, they're catching some out of lines, EB, on this on this straight rail. Uh, yeah, they 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 are doing work on that straight rail. And now they're pulling oh, back. Man, yeah. EB taking heavy casualties. They got caught out there with a pistol. Uh, I think they sent one of my boys, Irish, from Cav, over to uh. Right uh, yep, looks like... Oh, uh, no, he's got a sponger. Oh, no, he doesn't. No, he's a cab guy. He's got a cab Yeah, guy. yeah, yeah. All right, I mean, you're pretty much dead even on tickets, and CSA is about to recap the point, and I think you let them cap here if you're Union. Just creeping up and up. Yeah, I see no reason not to let, the union, yeah, let them recap and just keep playing this game for now. The... Yeah. Oh, there's a forward. Yeah. Captain Hood's C going forward. Yeah, I don't know about this. Forward. Yeah, Carolina by himself. Uh, I don't know if that's a great spot, Hood. Hey, Cap, they're right on the other side of this hill. CSA has re recaptured here, so any any ticket ticket uh ticket bleeding you do on CSA Our will not come back when they recap. Or so they can't get. Yeah, I, I think the union has kind of clawed this uh, back. I mean, look at it. You're you're 25 minutes. They're at the top of taking losses. If you can get them down to breaking within 10 minutes, you you have a chance to win this game. Which I think is imminently possible at the right there, killing them right now. Although union is losing. Uh... Slightly more tickets here. Yep, and, and as we say that, you just losing on tickets. Which I, I, I don't know how. I don't know where all these ticket bleeding is going down. I don't know if it's Artie. I don't know if this guy's running from spawn. Honestly, you see where all the bodies are on the right side of the big tree? I would just pull left. Yeah, that, that Artie has been doing a lot of work. Yeah, and I see it. And NWB heading back out to his little alcove that they like. Yep. Oh man, yeah. Union's getting torn up right now. You know, Hood has been able to sustain himself there for I, I a lot longer than I thought he would be. That's number 10! No, That's number 10! They can't kill Chopper! Oh, they can't oh, kill Chopper! Fuck this shit! 
You know, I, 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 I would have, I would have, I would have thought maybe with the five second it'd be more sustainable, but the ten, I'm kind of amazed. Well, it also seems like a, a little bit of forty second has uh, has sharps. It seems like their first sergeants or sergeants have sharps here. That's why they have such a uh, high rate of fire. Ah, uh, that would, yeah, that would explain a good chunk of it. But like, I, I still think as a union team, you just charge out in front of you, just go into them. You 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 outnumber the you, the CSA team here. Well, the CSA is yeah, the CSA is all scattered. You're gonna get great out of lines and great skirmishings if you just charge in. But I think, I think we're we're seeing the same mistake. Where they're just not being as aggressive as they need to be. Which is true. I mean, it's 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 switch teams too, which is <laughs> like the CSA was you know USA oh, on the last the match. Going on now into EB ninth course going in. Get up ninth. Get him! Oh, yep, yep. Oh, God. Uh, I oh, think they got God. caught out in the open here. Perfect, Yo, Mr. Boys. Beast. The East is... is... No! Uh -huh. All right, go, go. All right, I mean, EB's going to fall back now. a little bit, but... Uh, now is when you charge out 40 seconds. I, I would agree. Oh, never mind. The 40 second is going to come up. Uh, he might be able to knock out Alex here, though, I think. Yeah, HL got caught out by itself there. I don't know where the allies were. Oh, wait a second. MWB rotated all the way to this rock over here. Yep. Oh, oh and a nice little move. Kind of cutting off their retreat. Wow. You see them catch those, like, flag guys trying to fall this back? Way, oh, this man. Way, this way. If I was Union now, I would just I would pull back, reconsolidate, get out of there. No, I think, I think it's, uh, especially with that Artie coming in, I think they're kind of losing the... Uh, Losing it here. Look at, oh man, they're almost down on breaking now. Yeah. Yeah, this is not this is looking bad. good for Union. Some nice maneuvers there you know, by the CSA. Oh yeah, especially MWB. I like that. Hey, I don't know who's in charge here, but we gotta get the hell out. I mean, they do only have three guys yeah. left, so it did cost them a lot. Oh yeah. I, I mean, it, it did cost them, but, um, you know, still. Oh, well, I mean, they got three more guys further back. Oh, they do? They? Oh yeah, yeah, they do. Okay. Yeah, they're fine. And I think they're following your advice. It looks like the union is pulling off now. Yeah. Well, and they did exactly what I thought was a bad idea, which is just stand in the open on point and try to do a shootout. And I think they and just need to get aggressive. I think HL was out of possession. They should not have been standing on the right side of the tree. I think holding in that bush is much better. Well, especially with cab. If you have cab, if you have 20 guys with pistols, you should be using that as much as possible you shouldn't have them standing yeah. out in open order line yeah. using their carbines or their sharps and shooting it out they need they need to get into charges as much as possible and i mean if if they're forming a big firing line to shoot you out then do what mwb did just pull right flank them make them so they can't just shoot oh. it out you know turn their line get up. and there's some there's some angles you can uh we gotta put them down Maneuver on. Now, um, actually, to either of you guys, but um, actually, I'll go with Gene because I'm looking at HL right now. Oh, Ooh, they just got hit again. Jesus. Oh, man. Um, would you recommend any, any? I mean, you kind of already put out a little bit here, but um, would um, would you change anything from what the CSA is doing right now in the disposition here? I would be aggressive. I would just pull right up to the tree. And uh, shoot him up. Oh, looks like Dixon oh, actually—he's gonna try to oh, catch MWB. Oh yeah, they're gonna. Yeah, they will. It's not a bad idea. Get well, you have a, you have another unit that's moving to that right side, 42nd. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. If I was CSA right now, I would just yeah, fuck keep, you, okay, keep advancing. Don't stand there and shoot. So keep up the pressure. Try to get him down keep to the final the push. Pressure, yeah. Yeah. Yo, shout out to 42nd PA's aim, aim here. They they at that volley Man, out of really all. Good. Yeah, they, they, they dropped at least eight guys in here, so good good shots on those guys on the rock. Whenever I see them volley, man, it's it's crazy. But see, this that's is what a, you gotta do. That's a decent distance, too. That's not oh, super man. close, either. Just keep watching these guys standing in the same spot, getting shot by artillery. <laughs> yeah, boy, yeah. So now kind of turn it to you, Brutish. What do you think the Union needs to do now? Now they're think, breaking at 19 minutes, about half a morale state down. I, I think they need to consolidate and they can be as aggressive as possible, get cavalry into as many charges as possible, and then just try to get... You don't have to turn it into a charge fest, but you need to do more than just stand in the defilade, 
or stand on top of a defilade or or stand out the open in an open order or skirmishing line and try to shear it out. It is clearly not working and you need to try to do something else. I would add to Brutish there that if if they're standing there right now and shooting it out for another two minutes and the tickets are still not going in their favor, then yeah. look at the left side of the battlefield. It's completely open. Do something there, maybe. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. I mean, we got, uh, what is this, MSG, 1st VA, 83rd, kind of guarding I, the Artie. That's that's a pretty powerful force they could send I, down. I, I would literally, I would I would reconsolidate as much as the team. I know HL is kind of stuck out there right now, but if they could get back, I, I would just full send it left. If the entire CSA team is going to be looking right, full send it left, kind of move north from Union Art Artillery, hit these guys in the side, try to get cavalry in there as much as possible. Because to be honest, exactly. Union, exactly. Union benefits greatly from any charge on, on this map. If you can get CSA to commit to any type of melee, even if, even if CSA outkills you, even if they win a charge with maybe five to ten guys left, you still do more damage to their tickets than they do to you, just with the ticket differential. I think that's just what you have to do. With that, British, I do believe that they are... First VA and Connor are moving the up the road part. towards CSA spawn. Yeah, now, my no, only concern about this is it's not... Well, I guess I'm seeing some more of the CSA starting to move out now, too. 10th Tennessee's moving out. Yeah. MSG's like, moming they're, out. They're, com they're coming against two they're rebel regiments by themselves, and they can't, yeah, they they can't do to, anything. They need to be on the picket fence, not on the road, not in the open. And then that's where they're getting. Who is this in the middle? You have 10th Tennessee in the middle. You have Ninth Corps. You got Captain Squid leading Ninth. So it seems like they are they are making that that left push. So they're doing exactly what I think they yeah. need to do. Shoot them in the side. Oh, nice little volley from 10th Tennessee. But then, they uh, they need to get more aggressive. They need to get closer. They need to just go in and pick a pick a spot on the map. Everybody agree. Hey guys, those those rocks oh to the left God, of the point of contention. We need to get in there. Completely massacred. Oh yeah, yeah. They they are. Uh... Yeah. Honestly, not not a bad thing for Union. You can get those guys back in from from U, uh, Union spawn, and you can use them on the left here. They're no longer stuck on that right. No, and there's not really anything. Uh, the CSA is not intruding as they were on that uh, spawn point. No, they weren't. Like as soon, I, I see as soon as cavalry spawns in, gets across the uh, gets across the ford. I say you just go in full team, full team push. And now you're seeing 42nd shifting over to help the friendlies. I think. When you spawn, get in line first and then get your. Or at least to reconsolidate in the center. Yeah, they're starting to get close to breaking, so I think they might be concerned about guarding that point as well. Yeah. Which, which is in Union favor. It's, it, it draws them out in the open. It makes them play close to point. They can't just sit back on these rocks. Looks like Guy is making a little maneuver here. From CC spawn. In fact, Hood is moving up. I see. Oh, yeah. He fucking missed, dumbass. Hey, Cap, you might be able to pop a Rambo at that tree up there. There's one dude. Where is I can't it, see Joe? anyone. All right, hey, 40 seconds. Find some cover, whatever you can. You should be running for the spawn. Right. The right side, right side. Yeah, they're in spawn right now. They're crossing forward. Up the rock, there you go. Woo! You're okay. You're okay. Ooh, Knight's Core just got hit by some already, too. Get your loads. A very spread out field at the moment. It's kind of surprising me that the uh, still this spread okay. out from the CSA perspective, at least. Well, we haven't even seen a, a lot of ticket drops so far. I mean, from either team, Union's still at the end or G of breaking. I'll, I'll go to Veterans have, have been at the bottom of taking losses for it seems like forever now. Yeah. I mean, yeah, well, 50, just under 15 minutes left, like, though. Yeah, I'd say probably well, about another two doing? minutes. Until the CSA hits breaking, if that. Is there a CO here? You just gotta get aggressive. This sitting yeah. back and shooting is not gonna do it. Can y'all spring yeah. down to the right for me? Now, do you think that the Union should make a move for point as soon as breaking, or should they try to shoot it out for a little bit longer, try to get closer to the last stand? My gut says move for point as soon as breaking. It at least forces them into a charge, and if you win, 
yeah. you, you kind of win on a fluke. But I don't know. I mean, it's it's one of those until things. The hip breaking and then it's one of those. I mean, honestly, you can start charging now. And if you wipe this, whoever's in the center here on point, who is this? This is 40 seconds. This is so If you wipe these guys, they should go breaking in the middle of the charge. That's that's my thought. I mean, it's the union. The CSA is not really in a position to contest point right now. I mean, they are and they aren't. It just depends on how fast the CSA regiments respond. So you got, looks like Squid's gonna try another pop volley. HL doing. Oh, is HL? Oh, let me swing over to HL. See oh, what they're man. Thinking. Yeah, here we go. They got to get those calves in. If, the, if HL can get into 40 HL's seconds. going in. In the center. I think this is it. Yeah, they hit breaking. Yeah, and look. And how fast does the CSA react? They have to go look now. At that cab they have to go now. Oh, man. CSA is not moving. And the, the entire Union team needs to get on point right now. If the entire Union team gets on point, they might lose him. Don't charge after that guy. Go back to point. All right, now here comes the CSA. They're coming in oh, now. It's a waste of time. I just saw like 10 dudes go up to the Rambo. Keep going. I swear, if Union wins this game right here, I'm going to laugh. Wow, beautiful shot. Really pull, pulling, pulling the win out of the jaws of defeat here. Flag, it comes in WB here. from the side. I mean, the problem I have with that is if they don't get on point. See, they're out chasing little things and they're not really. Yeah, WB just got wiped out. Union just needs to. Oh, look at the CSA main. They're already coming. They're already coming. Oh yeah, yeah. They're gonna. They're gonna stay in there. I don't know if it's enough time. You don't think so? I don't think so. I think if the Union pushes forward right now and meets them off a point, the Union wins. They're not They're not going to. They're going to send on point here, 5%. Yeah, they're going to. I mean, MSG is low-key kind of doing a lot of work here, hitting them on the I, side. I was going to say, I, I was gonna say yeah. like I said, charge him out, man. You can, you can do it. MSG, hit him in the side. This, this little element's already knocked out. Oh, oh my god. If this happens, uh, I'm going to freak out. I think it's actually going to happen. I think you're right, I, right, now. Oh, right now, charge forward as a union. Charge forward. You go to final push. Who cares? Ooh, union army just came in. Or CSA already. See, right now, if they charge forward, this clock would still be going. You know, and you'd be keeping the CSA off. You're giving the CSA a chance to get uh, back on here. I think, I think CSA is going to flood it. Yeah, they're going to flood it fast oh, yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Need it maybe 15, 20 seconds. And... I don't know how many people are spawning on flag, but if you're leading right now in the union, you got to tell your guys, go flag. I mean, go main, go main. It, if you're if you're lucky as union here, you can get CSA last stand before, before you get wiped. You got union reinforcements coming back in. Yeah, but look at look at that screen of CSA. Kill the cavalry! Watch the right one. The cavalry's dead. Push through. Clear the hill. Clear the hill. Clear the hill. Take no cavalry. Oh. Oh, a well-timed already shot. I think that's it. No, I don't think it's it. I I think I think if Union has Union has three minutes. So so here's the thing now. Union could take. 30 seconds and stop these streams and go in as a big, strong mass exactly. and push them off. Exactly. Have send Cav to the back, have Cav come in last, and they can wipe exactly. out every single CSA and win exactly. the Exactly, yep. But that That'd just right. means they got to just slow it down, like, 20 seconds. Hey, stop here, everybody get on. Because CSA is not going to move out. They can't. They're on last stand. It looks exactly like what they're doing. Just the, uh... Yep, yep, they're consolidating. Guys, let's move it. It's going to come down to one last charge. 
Oh, they don't want to. Don't, don't. I, 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 I wouldn't do that. If you got time to get your loads, get your loads. Everybody hold I think CSA is going to come out on top, but I think it's going to be real close. They are not holding. Oh, who's this charging out here? I'm still going to load up. 80 seconds. We just got to buy time. Oh man, HL, what are you doing? Hey, Cav should not be going in first. They're gonna get killed. By oh, the that is a critical mistake. I I don't know who made that call. Right here, right here, right here, You're back right here, in the right here. But you know, it happens. It's it's tough because you want to go. You're like, man, we gotta go. Yeah, we yeah. gotta go. Yeah. They gotta go now though. Every, everybody's decided. Yeah, now, everybody now, to now it's now it's time to go. Like you said, send Cav in last. Let uh, everybody else observe all these absorb all these shots, and you'll be fine. Must protect our men. CSA is pushing forward. What do you guys think of this? Uh, I don't know. I think it's just going to be whoever wins this melee and anybody can win at this yeah. point. I think uh, CSA might come out on top, but you know, I, I can't tell. Me. All they have to do is have enough men to contest the point and the timer will stop. A decent USA already hit comes in on point. I wouldn't hope for it. Okay. Uh, you, it seems like Union has won that that first charge to see if they can get on point here. See those Union, the CSA that's back there now though is this is not what you need to do. You have to go forward at this point. Because as soon as the Union gets on point, it'll stop the clock. Okay, these guys on the fence have to get in. I, I think they're going to have enough time to get on point. I think I think Union might be able to pull this out. It is it is down to the last couple seconds here. Grab this. Ignore me. I, you got. You gotta be cap capturing by the time they hit zero, and I think they're it, not. I think it they is too much time. so close. Yeah, I think CSA wins. Yep. Oh, yep. Last couple seconds. Man, that came down to the wire. It did. Yeah. Ten seconds more. And so, anyway, good match. But uh, final thoughts. Starting out with uh, Gene. I think. Uh... Answering your question, I do think that the charge at the end was uh, was good because uh, it gave them those extra seconds they needed to just hold the point. Um, I think both teams fought well, but I got to say it's like one of the most interesting pie forts I've seen in a while. That uh, early push that uh, the CSA did kind of threw me off as well as the Union team. Uh, no, interesting uh, games. Uh, yeah, what do you think, Brutish? I just think... Uh... Gideon probably would have won that map if they were a little more aggressive uh, when they were sitting on that right flank. Uh, yeah. And especially just sitting on point out in the open. I think if they would have just charged out the groups in front of them, forced the melee, got the cab in there as much as possible, they probably would have won this game. I would concur, yeah. Yep, not two, uh, two fun matches. And I want to thank both of you guys for uh, co-commentating with me, both uh, Brutish from the Ninth Corps and Mr. Gene from the HL. And that... Uh... Yep, that'll close it out for the night. Uh, appreciate it, guys, and I'll see you all next time.